Hello, third graders. Today we are gonna to continue to talk about comparing numbers. Remember how I talked to you yesterday about how you compare all the time in life, like trying to decide whether one apple is better than the other or whether or not your brother or sister got more allowance than you? We compare all the time and it's a great skill to know. And it's a really important skill in math because we need to compare numbers and values constantly. So remember the word to compare is. To compare is to decide if one number is greater than, less than, or equal to the other. So our math focus for today is I can compare and order whole numbers up to 100,000. So yesterday we looked at this, how to compare and order numbers. And just a reminder that all numbers have value. You can compare the value of two whole numbers by using the following symbols. Um, one is greater than, remember we read this as greater than because the big mouth is, we read from left to right and we see the big mouth first, that's why it's read as greater than. This symbol right here is read as less than because the small pointy part goes to the smaller number and we read from left to right and that's what we'd see first. And you guys know of course that this means equal to. So when we want to compare or order numbers, we follow these steps to compare two numbers. The first thing we do is we line up the numbers according to place value. So you can see I did it there. And then you can see we have step two, which is compare the numbers in each place starting with the largest place value. So here we compare the fours, the sevens, and then we get to the one and the six. And we can tell that these number digits are the same, four, and this digit right here is the same, the seven. But then we have a one and a six, and those are different. So we know that one is less than six, so 4,712 is less than 4,761. So then at the end, we use the symbols to show the relationship between the two numbers. With the smaller pointy part going to the smaller number and the big mouth part wants to always eat the bigger numbers. We know that 4,712 is less than 4,761. So just a little reminder when you're doing this on your own, when we're comparing numbers, it's great to line them up underneath each other. So you can really compare them well, especially when you get to large numbers that are using the same digits that can get kind of confusing. So the biggest mistake that students make is when they line up the numbers to compare them, they line up the greatest place value. And that isn't correct because of the fact that you have 1800 right here. And this looks like a different amount. So. I'm going to put it to make sure you need to make sure when you compare numbers that the smallest place value is lined up together. So that's just a reminder as you work today on comparing numbers. Have a great day third graders.